Ontario, it's our home, but we're not the only ones who live here. We share this province with about 30,000 other species, but 16,000 are threatened with extinction. That's over half. All of us depend on each other to survive. That's just how life works. Our existence depends on balance, on a biological equilibrium in which diversity is paramount. That's why it's important that we all play our part in protecting our environment. We're all part of this ecosystem, growing, breathing, eating, and producing. We all need each other to live. We're a contributing member in this bio-relationship. Let's act like it. Our self-preservation starts with you. Hi, my name is Chris Kruker, and uh, this is Manor Run Organic Farm. Uh, Ryan Crawford, I'm co-owner of Backhouse Restaurant. I'm Anne Sperling, I'm the uh, Director of Winemaking and Viticulture at Southbrook Vineyards. Juliet Orizetti, and uh, I'm one of the farmers here at Link Farm. My name is Michelle Ordenick, uh, and I've been working here with the bees at Weirs Lane Lavender for about five years. My name is Kevin Beagle, and we're here at my farm, Weirs Lane Lavender and Apiary. Biodiversity has a few different meanings for us and obviously it's the interconnectivity of all the different species that we have here, whether it be animal or plant. When I think of biodiversity, I'm thinking of a wide range of plants and not just plants that we grow on the farm to sell, but also wild plants that you'd find naturally in this ecosystem. Biodiversity is important to us for a number of reasons, not just social reasons, but economic reasons as well. People, when they come here to visit, and this is an agritourism operation, are expecting to see not just a, a, a monoculture, they're expecting to see a wide variety of things when they come out here. So the bees are an attraction, the lavender is an attraction, but also the environment. So it's, you know, one thing kind of supports the other, so it's a bit like biodiversity where when you have a really good network you can you have more stability and you can offer a range of experiences. Uh, biodiversity is incredibly important to me uh, as well as the bees that I work with and the bees in the area. So crop rotations are going to be big for us. Uh, we're getting bees on site uh, as soon as possible just to help pollinate. Um, we all know the whole uh, ecosystem needs more bees. A complex ecosystem uh, balances itself. It handles things like, uh, let's say, plants that don't belong in that environment. It also creates its own fertility. Plants do a great job of drawing nutrients out of the subsoil and also out of the atmosphere and depositing them right in the root zone. So in uh, 2006, when we set up the vineyard, we committed ourselves to being a biodynamic farm. Teaching people where their food comes from and how it's produced. We, we started farming about five years ago, raising uh, pigs in conjunction with Ravine Vineyard, um, as they were sort of trying to do an animal program as well as a vegetable program at their winery. So we sort of started working with them. We have a diverse set of compost preparations and um, and a set of standards so that we actually can um, enable the organics and make things work better. This property was settled 200 years ago and what they did is they took European um, agricultural practices and plowed up the acreage for 200 years. Every year they pulled every plant out and every year they plowed it and they planted it again. And that has really been tough on the ecosystem. There's a lot that people can do, even just in their small ways, on, in their everyday lives to support biodiversity. And um, a big part of it is uh, appreciating nature and doing things to support it. From my point of view, the best thing you can do is support your local farmers. Um, you know, find them at your farmer's market, ask them how they're raising their animals. Doing, you know, volunteer projects to clean things up. You know, grass-fed animals and responsible farming practices are really important for sustaining that biodiversity and, uh, and promoting, you know, a more sustainable agricultural system. Growing some of your own food, either in your own backyard or in 
garden planters, things to give you a better appreciation for what farmers go through, but also to reduce the carbon footprint to get food onto your plate. If we don't change the biological activity in our soils, we are going to be trouble, in trouble as a species. We're going to have a hard time feeding ourselves. And we're also going to have problems like carbon being released into the atmosphere. So farmers have to take responsibility. Consumers have to start buying locally and from farms that are using sustainable practices. And these councillors and these politicians that are elected at the provincial and federal level have to understand that they are making decisions that will impact the world.